Why do wind vanes always turn to point into the wind? Well, it may not be obvious to you, but the phenomenon that allows wind vanes to always point into the wind is the same phenomenon that allows rockets with fins to fly straight. To understand this phenomenon, we're going to have to learn about the center of pressure and the center of mass. This will be a two-part presentation, and this first part will cover the center of mass. To understand rocket stability and how to get your rocket to fly straight, you need to understand a lot about hammers. Well, actually, what you need to understand is about the center of pressure and center of mass. And I'm going to start with the center of mass because it's the simplest. The center of mass is actually a really simple concept, and you probably already know it intuitively. The center of mass is the balance point of an object, and it's that place where you can hold it and it'll balance perfectly. So for this hammer, the balance point for it's just about right here. So if I was to mark the center of mass on this hammer, it's about right here. And so the center of mass is that place where if I concentrated all the mass of this object at that point, it would have the same action as if it is right now when it's all spread out. So I can put my finger there and all the weight or mass of it is acting through that point. That's the concept of the center of mass. It's the balance point. Another characteristic of the center of mass is that's the point of, of about which an object will want to spin if it's sent into a spin of some kind. And so for example, I have this pin right here. And if I give it a spin, we can see that it wants to spin right about this point right here. And if I try and balance that on this ruler, we can see that that is indeed right at the center of mass of this object. And so right now, that's its center of mass. So I'm going to mark that like this. I'll explain this symbol to you in a minute. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to stick a piece of clay on the end of this. And so I'm adding mass to one side of this. And so now we know that if I add mass to this side of it, that that should move the center of mass of this from here in this direction. So now let's spin it and see what happens. Well, that wasn't a very good spin. Let's try again. There we go. Now, right now, it's spinning right at the crack between these two colors here. because I could see it. And let's double check. And now if I put that on my ruler and balance it, and sure enough, that's exactly where the center of mass is. So the center of mass is not only the place where all the forces want to act, but it's also that point about which an object wants to spin if it's put into motion in a, in a turning motion. That's very important to understand in rocket stability. So you have a job now, and that's to take your darts that you made, your best dart and your worst dart, and I want you to find the center of mass of those. And it's pretty easy to find the center of mass. Just get a ruler or some edge, not too sharp, but an edge that you can balance them on, and just put them on there and slide them back and forth and hold them with your hands until you can find that point where they're just out of balance. They'll so just tip one way or the other way. And then once you find that center of mass, just put a mark on them, and I'll show you how to mark them. We use a special symbol for the center of mass. What we use for the center of mass, you make a plus sign, draw a circle around it, and then fill in two of the opposite pieces of pi there. That's the symbol we use for a center of mass in engineering. So get your darts, take each of your darts, your best dart and your worst dart, and balance them on an edge like this. Find the center of mass, and once you've found it, mark it with that special symbol that I just sh showed you. So there's the center of mass of that dart. Now you go do the same thing with your darts, and then post us some pictures of them and show us what they look like.